Welcome once again, welcome once again, Justice for Mubad. You're about to hear for the first time, and I want you to pay attention from the beginning of this video till the end of it. The report that landed on our desk right now is that spending has been released. As you all know, there are two people, two major people, who are privy to that secret that Wumi does not want us to know. Of course, obviously we know what it is all about, Prime Boy and spending. For a long time, people have not seen spending they don't know who he is and they've not heard from him we've only heard the account of prime boy before his uh, arrest at the big before he brought himself um to the police at the beginning afterwards what we heard is through proxy what happened and what did not happen anyway i want you to pay attention like i said we are about to hear what will blow our mind what exactly happened let us listen and you'll be hearing the account of spending. What does he know? What happened? What transpired? It's going to give us one or two points for us to hold on to. I'm very sure that they have been told not to say too much. Uh, there are some people who do not want them to tell the truth of what happened. They are afraid of them. And maybe they signed a contract or a kind of um, secret um, arrangement with them. Do not say the truth. But I will implore them to say more. Tell us all that you know. So let, let us pay attention to this one. What really happened on that day? There are certain things that you might not be aware of. This particular video is going to expose everything from the beginning of it till the end. Those things that you have not paid attention to, you're about to hear it. This is a good one, isn't it? This is a good one. For the first time, for the first time, spending is saying his own truth. People thought spending... The nurse will be held in captivity forever. But here we are today. We are beginning to see deep into the conspiracy. The conspiracy to shut down, to cover up the RIP of Mobad. Not because it is about Mobad, but because there are certain people attached to it who do not want their names to be tagged along with anything that does not appear good. That is the point. Let us get right into this one. Do not forget to like and share. Do not forget to tap on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Um, that evening, that evening, the manager called me. The manager called me that evening. On that day, on that Monday, that the manager called me that half our lifestyle. Um, I'm trying to reach Mo. I guess it's concerning the show what we have on the 13th. I'm trying to reach Mo. He has not been going. So when he said he has not been going, I was like, ah, Mo. I texted him, I called him. I didn't go through, but who won't think about anything bad? I called the manager back, SI. She was like, ah, I don't try, I will try and reach him, Sha. I said, no, Wala. It was the next day. It was the next day. I got a call. I got a call that Mo was dead. I thought it was a prank because my demon said, I thought it was a prank. It was this guy that called me, um, Doro. That Doro is like um, Darusha's elder brother. Say, ah, waiting they happen for house so this one's one. I was like, waiting they happen for house. What, what happened in the house? I don't know if anything happened. I was like, ah, they call him because get, I guess that one did not even know what was going on too. I was like, okay, fine. I now try calling the house to know what's up. Nobody was picking my call at first when I was calling. Nobody picked my call. I tried calling, calling. I now called one of our friends who is a banker in the house. His name is Damola. I tried calling the guy, saying, ah, how far now? Show you the house. That one says, just they come from bank. I said, waiting, there's, waiting, stop now. Uh, then they come and say, what happened tomorrow or something like that. I was like, that one says, ah, and they come from bank. I said, well, I beg, go if you don't reach house. Anyway, so call me, make I know waiting, they sub. Because I don't know, nobody, they pick my call. But still, I didn't really end. I still called, 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 called. Till one of them now picked my call. I was like, lifestyle, where you doing? They did cry, say lifestyle, where you day? Ah, I was like, ah, lifestyle, where you day as well? Like, ah, so uh, this one's one more. I was like, ah, what happened? Mo, okay. Ah, uh -uh, no, you know, possible. This one is one. As I asked them, they tell they they me, say they, they carry more ghost pictures <laughs> for my phone. I did run, like, I came out of my estate. I ran, like, I ran like a madman. I didn't even wait for a ride or anything. I was running like a madman. On the road i went to enter a public transport because i i don't even know i can't even press my phone to start booking a ride 
until I got there. I got there um, by night. I got there by night because of the traffic. I even got there. Even a uh, lawyer and everybody safe. We jumped for road. When I reached there, my brother don't do for flow like this. You understand? You don't do for. They say they don't carry and come back out. So you don't do flow. Eh? The thing is, it was like it was really, really so painful seeing him on that state. And I tried to ask what was going on. The same thing that we were seeing is a lawyer, a nurse came to the house and all these things. So painful that I was like, ah, nurse come out, this one, this one, the year, that, that kind of this thing. That was just the thing. You know? That is how. I, that was still how I heard about all those things, this whole issue when I got to the house and all these things. It was really so painful to me. All Regarding the nurse, I want us to take it one after the other. Okay, that is Before good. the arrival of that nurse, they show her a wound, giving the impression that she will be coming to treat somebody with wound. Hmm. Normally, a nurse will come with anti tetanus because she has not shown up for two days. And she will be thinking that that person will have been infected. So that's the, that's the first thing. Secondly, when she got there, we knew who knew the condition of her husband presented anti tetanus, which is a, which anybody, any reasonable nurse will not counter. That may be the reason because, mm -hmm. But women man got to live back way. So also there's anti tetanus. Oh, they must back way. What hypertensive? Oh, to my reaction to live far away. Which means it has happened before. And women was even not talk when the husband reacted to that injection. It was the woman who said, "I'm killing daddy." Koya kuja de la re, and they started pouring water. She also knew the implication of that water being poured on. Yes, she knew the implication. And sending that woman out to go and buy something, people say, man, she how many times, not in she bed. So a nurse who is just coming, who did not have background of the patient, who only of those going to on a rescue mission, may not be in a position, let me do what I what is necessary to do. So I don't want us to blame the nurse too okay, much. She may not be licensed. She may not be licensed, but she did the needful. Mm. It's just that there was a setup. There was a setup which they allowed the nurse to feed the girl. Mm. Then there is something I want to say. The approach of the police. What the police are doing is this. They brought out an interim report based on the lies being told to the police. Mm. And police is waiting for them. Police knew the truth. Police is only waiting for those lock up to say, okay, you are protecting them, maybe because of heritage, maybe because somebody big is involved. By the time we lock you up and you see yourself going to jail, you open up. So it is better for spending, it is better for all of them that are locked up to shout now. Nobody should stop them from talking. Mm. In fact, this approach of uh, don't mention somebody any year and it's big and this, we should stop it all. If anybody is involved, that person should be mentioned. The life of those guys being locked up is as vicious as any other person. We cannot lock some people up and be protecting some people somewhere else. Mm. I don't know whether it's in the presidency, in the in the in the in the, in the, in the governorship or whatever, or in the palace. Their life is as vicious as anybody's life. Mm. Then let me tell you about Adura and Mama and the rest in the family. Mm. They knew what happened. But what they are telling Nigeria is that ah, lenyo, ah, lenyo, koko, baba, fija, follow unja, is a lost battle. Mm. That is the approach from Mama Mubai to Adura. That is their language. Let me tell you Baba's approach to this. Baba is saying, I have lost my son, but will not accept a bastard or fade the memory of Mubai. That is Baba's approach. Let me tell you Wumi's approach. What Wumi is doing is this. In your Allah, man, ni yonumba, mi, toba possible. Wumi is protecting something today for tomorrow. Wumi is gagging something today. And Wumi is leaving no trace for everything that Wumi is doing. That is why they have to keep their own nurse that they know. So that nobody will say, Shabu, nurse, yeah? They have to ask somebody, do you have a nurse? 
Mm. And they have to follow up on that law. Mm. They have to make sure that that law does not have the details of everything that is going to happen. And they brought in DJ, that DJ, whatever, knew a lot about what also happened. And that is why that DJ had to follow Adura to court. You see, somebody was with Adura. We didn't come to court that day. Yes, but somebody did. among them was with Adura. Mm. Yes, somebody who, in, in, in house, some people knew what happened. They are only making sure that I want any type of liar and sorrow. But what Obama will prefer to do one. Eh? You better. To Obama will prefer to do one. Keep your mouth shut. If what Obama will prefer to do one, spray the bean. Mm. Nothing will happen in this country. The more you talk, the more the more they want to. They have blood running in their veins too. So, in your call, only go and learn one. That's enjoy. Can we protect the heritage in your call in the palace? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I I always like this uncle's, you know, his contribution. Very intelligent, intelligent son. I want your giddy. I want I want to look very calm. Oh wow. I want to look all alone. Wow. I go go in. I want to nila kai. She she go she go be be. Boshi 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 break it. Hmm. I will still continue to say it. Eh? Spending. I see people's just a liar. Come on, talk about that. I want to remove bad that. I want to down me the lorry. You want to down me the lorry? Want to enjoy coming home? Pay. Am I to down me the lorry? Enjoy coming home. She. You share. You want to be she man faint me? You want to come home worry? You want to talk about down me the lorry? Oh, you want to come home? Eh, we pay once in a while. Come home faint me. You want to talk about talk about down me the lorry? Pay. Oh, my wow. Okay. You want to come home? All right. You got to face your sofa one here. So for you, for you, pay your for you. Tell for you on share room. Obey. Tell about for you. Now you land temporary. Let to go. He is very, very, very gentle and very respectful. For you, she you control the pain. You have to let she run for being. Already, you have. Already, you are at the cake. Already, you are at the back. Insurance, you have to for fifteen years. So, a mother, dad. No more for you, dad. Dad, because you control she let. For you, things for me, anything, don't she let. You have to. I mean, I say, I have to go there already. I have to do more. Yeah. So, mama, you have to take. You go to the normal, like you go to the normal. Oh, for you, mom, worry. For you, go to my place. My bad, no fellow treats. For you, go to my place. My bad, no fellow treats. If I if I saw that request if from video, or today get it on. Keep video yet to worry for me because when you can send videos on come war war and come fellow treats come to him. Obey and control it. Baby, it's like money. Kill it to she pay go or where kill it to she em request from video. But to but today in Leo Maria and come fellow treats. So I want to know. I want red to what? I want to know. I want to know about that. Eh, for your one in Leo. So for you want to okay, no problem because of payout mountain treats spending for a while. Payout spending no. And spending one at here, you pay customer when you spend it. Okay, pay home law. So, on today, get stone, keep video yet to worry, phone to do So, on she pay you, go to read video, pay you aware, what did they get and more? No more talk, keep video to send this, you go to worry. But that she never told me no more tree, tatanos injection, you call in, got to so pay home phone, but you are a stammer, you got a loan phone here. For you, then you want to go on a silly loot, not down more. Welcome back. Now, everything is beginning to make sense. You see, in Nigeria, for those who cannot afford and for those who are not really the hospital type, for those who want a quick fix, what they do is to call in a nurse. And majority of these nurses are auxiliary nurses. They are not the ones that are schooled. They are not the ones that are trained in schools, in nursing schools, nursing college. No, not at all. They are the ones that you just pay them some amount of money. They bring in the medication. They've learned how to. In a sana climb, in, in countries where things work, such nurses will be carers. That's what they will be. But in Nigeria, we have this apprentice system where someone who has not attended the four walls of a nursing school will come into an hospital learn from the doctor and the nurses how to administer medication what to do and what not to do it has been a practice and the nigerian government have not frowned upon it they've not found it with the medical association and they've done nothing on this one and in general when you talk about healthcare sector in nigeria well you know how it is there are a lot of things wrong. Now, let us get back to what is on ground. You heard from um, spending and also you heard the account of what the nurse said, that she did not administer what was not proper. But then 
what I have observed from medical practitioners is this. If this had been done in an hospital, a standard functional hospital, immediately the reaction begins. They would have been able, they would have looked for ways to quickly put a stop to that reaction. Maybe they are going to inject him some blockers, something to stop that reaction. They would have found a way and who knows also, he might also have rip and the hospital will give reasons to why a RIP. They will come up with, um, with, with whatever and give our reasons. And that does not stop the autopsy from being done. So here we are today. Autopsy is what people are waiting for. But what exactly really happened? What happened? Prime Boy already said it. Spending knows about it. That DNA argument was the cause of the whole thing. What happened along the way? What happened along the way? What happened when they got home? We heard that Bobad and Wumi were both inside of, the, of, their, of their room arguing over it. Probably they do not want people to hear. At the beginning, Mobad and Wumi were speaking codedly. Like they were trying to cloud whatever it is that they were arguing about. But both of them know. And you don't need to have a, a degree to know what they were talking about. It was clear already. Because as they got angry, they were spinning out more. They were telling themselves hurtful words. They were arguing over. And it is all about DNA. Who is the father of that child? That's the question. Who is the father of that child? And why did Wumi refused till date? She has refused DNA. She doesn't want to. Now that tells us that that child does not belong to Mobad. If that child really belongs to Mobad, why are you running away with the child? Why? Wumi, why are you running away with that child? Why have you refused to put out statements that you are ready now? And you want camera, you want people to see that this child belongs to Mobad. Why are you hiding everything? Why are you hiding everything? You think you can cover up the RIP of Mobad? You think so? Well, I am hoping that uh, spending and Prime Boy will not be somehow manipulated by the police. Um, they will not find a way somehow to kind of, um, you know, you know how they do. Because um, since there are certain people with vested interest in this case, there are people who stand to lose a lot. There are people who want to maintain and keep their name. So these people do not want this info coming out public. Spending, you have to preserve yourself, protect yourself, keep yourself. But the most important is that you have to, you have to come out to tell the world what happened. We want to compare what Prime Boy said, what Wumi said. What Adura said and what you are saying. We want to compare everything together so that we can come to a conclusion. We want to have a robust information from all of you so we can filter truth and lies. Very important. That's very important. So I don't know what you guys think about this one. Um, it's a good thing that uh, the Nigerian police you know, release them and uh, they are out now to, they've, they've investigated, they realized that the nurse administered what needed to be administered, uh, right? Uh, but is she supposed to have administered it? That's a question for the court to decide upon. Um, I think they are going to do a lot of uh, investigation as regards that one. But we all know that something, something um, happened on that day. And what happened? needs to be dealt with it needs to be looked into we are not going to keep quiet about it no not at all we are not going to keep quiet about this we are going to keep pressing we are going to keep talking we are going to keep on and on about this until justice is gotten for mobad what is this what is this nonsense why is Wumi so quiet about truth the only time she spoke she talked about uh, how the property and money and all of those things and not forever you use, you live, and someone else uses it. Why don't you want Bobat's father to be part of those that will use it? Why does it have to be you? And she keeps referring to herself as Bobat's wife. And we know that you are not Bobat's wife. You are not Bobat's wife. What is this nonsense? You are not Bobat's wife. It's time for you to tell the truth. Because the puzzle 
every piece is beginning to make sense. It's beginning to add up together. We are beginning to get a true picture that you, you are the Lucifer. You, with the rest of your gang, Bochislova, the rest of your gang, Shekpeteri, Yabojo, the rest of your goons, you, people, you are the Lucifer in the life of Mobad, Imole. What do you guys think about this one? Drop your comment, like, and share. See you in the next update.